Day by Doug and the Slugs, played uh, for a request from a friend of the Morristown Uke Jam in Ontario. And I played it straight from the charts of the Morristown Uke Jam. So take the link in the video description, download the free ukulele song sheet, uh, grab your own ukulele, and you can play right along with this video. Uh, and if you'll be anywhere near Morristown, New Jersey, come out and play with us. Now in just a moment, I'm going to do a tutorial on everything I just played, and at the very end, I'll do a slow motion close-up play along that you might find helpful. But right now, hey, if you like the video, please like the video with a thumbs up. If you want lots more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want hundreds of free downloadable ukulele song sheets, each with a link to its own free video tutorial and play along, then check out our Dropbox and then come play with us. All right now. Uh, not many chords in this. The the fun comes in what I call the D riff. Honestly, the the charm, in addition to the the lyrics, I love the lyrics, I love the melody. But as far as the playing goes, the charm is that D riff. It's the third line of the intro, and although I pluck the intro, it's played continuously during the verses. And uh, I'll show you what I'm doing. But first, it's just a D. Form a D. Before you even start, right, and you're going to start with this persistent plucking, because that's what you that's what you hear kind of through the sound through the songs. This persistency. It's an even thing, by the way. Also, it's even. It's not bouncy. It's not. That would be, you know, you're a cowboy riding on a horse. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Giddy up. No, it's not that. It's even. Right. It's. It's, it's an even strum. Um, but so it starts out, you're forming a D and you're just plucking, counting from the floor, the third string. You're just counting, plucking the third string. By the way, with all of these, when I pluck, uh, when I can, generally speaking, when, it, when an arpeggio doesn't require something extraordinary, I don't worry about my pinky because I got four other stronger fingers and four strings only. So I assign each finger to one string and that's where they're sitting. So of course, you know which finger I'm going to use to pluck that third string. It's going to be my index finger. It's riding right there. So 16 times and then thumb and forefinger still on the D and then I start messing it up.
that's what I meant when I said the charm, the, the, the sort of panache that goes throughout this song. That's what I played. And by the way, in the verses, it's exactly the same thing with my left hand. And on my right, I just do this persistent strum. <laughs> It's, uh, it adds a lot of panache when you, when you can do that. Now, I wrote in the technical chords, you know, what is that? A D add 11 and A7 suspended fourth, you know. Don't worry about that. It's just variations on your fingering position of the D. So I got my three fingers there, right? And by the way, in the third line there, I, my thumb is the persistent. It, it persists with every beat. It's always doing it, whereas my other fingers, and never the uh, never the first string of the floor, by the way, not the, the high one. In this intro, I'm only using three fingers. So. Sorry. But all I'm really doing, again, D add 11 sounds scary, but all I'm doing is picking up my index finger. That's it. And then A7 suspended. I'm just picking up my ring finger. And then I slide into an F sharp minor, which is just like a G7. A G7, most beginners learn that pretty early. It's just the same shape as a G7, but slid over. And then pick up my ring finger to an A. So that's it. I'm gonna do it again now, with my thumb being persistent. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, switch. And it's written out, the tab completely is written out. You can play that as slowly as many times as you want. And as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to play it right now, eight times slowly, so that you can try to practice along with me. Eight times. Ready? One. D with those three strong fingers and persisting the thumb with four 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 time but then we go into the verse and I'm just strumming and I'm doing exactly the same thing that that riff right that D riff with my left hand that's it that's the hardest part of the song if you get that down and you can practice it a hundred times like I just did there if you get that down then gosh, it's a fun song to play and it sounds ultra cool. It really does, it sounds very cool. So, all right, uh, that was, I just showed you most of the song. From there uh, into the chorus, I'm from a D, I'm sliding into a G. So the, uh, my ring finger is basically the stability point there. It just slides up one fret and you drop the G behind it. And now the index finger is that is to say, it stays on the string, slides down one, and goes to an A, right? So, day by day I'm feeling stronger. And from there, it's your index finger that's sliding up and back. It's staying stuck to the ukulele, right? So, G, A, G, A, G, A. And then make my way. I normally would do the weak fingers like this, but I know I'm going to be going into a riff. I use my, I think... I used my strong fingers for the D all the time. Even though from an A it meant I made, need to move them all, I used my three strong fingers to form that D because then I'm ready for the next. 
The next D riff, which I find much easier to do with my strong fingers than if I did it, you know, that way. So, okay. Only other thing uh, to talk about, I think, is the uh, chorus B up the neck. I wanted more drama. I wanted more passion. I didn't have any other band members to jump in and add a horn section or something like that. So instead, what I did, I'm on the chorus. I did a slightly altered chorus. G, A, G, A, G, A, D. And then... Second position G, right? Because then I can just slide two frets up the neck. Day by day I'm feeling stronger. It's the same position. See, the same shape. Day by day you help me make it. Day by day by day by day by. It's a B flat shape up on the, on the fifth fret. That's a D. But it sounds cool because you're playing up the neck. And then for the outro, I go back to the lower chorus. That's it. That is the entire song. Now I'm going to play, let's see, from the, through the intro, uh, the first and second verses, and then the chorus, and I'm going to pretend that's, well, I'll, I'll go, instead of doing chorus A the first time, I'm going to go straight to chorus B, because that way I can play the, the up the neck part afterward and finish it up. Here goes. In slow motion. I'm gonna, let's see, so you can see my right hand on this part. Five, six, seven, real slow, eight.